Hello kiddos, Sir E is here and today we're going to talk about compounds. <laughs> Let's have a review. What are pure substances? In our previous teach blog, we have learned that matter can be divided into two pure substance and mixtures. When we say pure substances, these are forms of matter that have definite and unchanging chemical composition. And these pure substances can be classified as elements and compounds. In the previous stitch blog again, we also talk about elements. And from that video, we learned that elements are substances that are made up of only one type of atom. Also, they cannot be broken down into simpler substances by ordinary chemical means. To know all the elements, we have this tool called Periodic Table of Elements. As of today, we got 118 elements. Elements can be natural or synthetic. Elements can be further classified as metal, metalloid, and non-metal. And every element has a unique number of proton. And this is what we call atomic number. But for today, we're going to talk about the other classification of your substance, which is the compound. So what are compounds? When we say compounds, these are substances that are made up of two or more types of atoms. Dapat natin gandaan na para makonsider natin ang isang substance as compound, ito ay composed ng dalawa o higit pang elements. Another note that we need to remember about compounds is that their atoms should be chemically combined and they are having definite and constant composition. Hmm. Sir, ano pong ibig sabihin ng chemically combined? Ibig sabihin, nag-undergo sila ng chemical reaction para mabuo. So hindi po pwedeng physical means lang or physical mixing lang. Para masabing compounds ito, dapat ay nagkaroon ng chemical reaction. So with that, it is chemically combined together. Eh sir, ano pong ibig sabihin ng definite and constant composition? For us to understand this, let's have this example. Water. We know that the chemical formula for water is H2O. So what do we mean by this chemical formula? It means that every molecule of water has two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. And it is always like that, definite and constant composition. Every compound has a chemical formula and each chemical formula would give us some details about this compound. The first one is the elements present in that compound. Second, the number of each element present in that compound. Lastly, we could have a detail of the total number of atoms making or composing that particular compound. We have to remember as well that 
the properties of each compound is different from the properties of each element it is made up of. Do you know that hydrogen is an explosive gas, while oxygen is a flammable gas? But when they are combined together in the H2O, definitely the properties of H2O is far, 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 far different from the hydrogen gas and oxygen gas because it is now a drinkable substance. Most of the time, we are using illustrations or representations for substances. And again, for this case, we got elements and compounds. As we try to analyze the diagram or illustration, for elements, kung natatandaan natin, it is composed of single type of atom. Kaya naman, ang red ay isang element at ang blue ay another element. For compounds, we know that it is composed of two or more types of atoms that are chemically combined together. Kaya naman, we got this. Each molecule is composed of two atoms which are color red and one atom which is color blue. And they are chemically combined together. So what are the key ideas that we need to remember? First one, a compound is a substance that is made up of two or more different elements chemically combined together. Second, that I would like to give emphasis is the properties of a compound are different from the elements it is made up of. And that's it. We are done. I hope you learned something today. And if you find this video helpful, please do not forget to share this with your classmates or batchmates so that they too will learn. I hope that you enjoy learning science. See you again in my next Teach Vlog. Bye-bye. God bless. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.